Okay, now let's look at the numbers ending in 3, 7 and 9. Till now we understood the numbers ending with 1. So, numbers ending in 1 was very simple. So, in this case, all you need to do is to convert this 3, 7 and 9 into a number ending in 1. So, what I mean is, first you need to know that 3 raised to the power 4 is 81. So, if you have any power of 3, that can be expressed as some power of 81 maybe, which will in which case 81 will end in 1. Similarly, 7 raised to the power 4 is 2401 again ends in 1 and 9 raised to the power 2 is 81 ending in 1. So, I will be, I'll be showing this to you in examples but basically you need to remember at least this much. So, whenever you have 3, 7 and 9 you need to remember 3 raised to the power 4, 7 raised to the power 4 and 9 raised to the power 2 give you units digit ending in 1. You don't even need to remember these entire numbers. So, how do we use this? So, let us say I am trying to find out 69 raised to the power 64. So, as I said in case of 9, first you need to remember that 9 square gives you a number which ends in 1. Obviously, we know it's 81 but I am just showing this to you so that to tell you that you don't need to remember. Now, 69 raised to the power 64. So, this means because I need a 9 square here. So, let me write this as 69 raised to the power 2. One second, let me just write this more clearly. So, this is 69 raised to the power 2, the whole raised to the power 32. That is how we can write 64. Now, in this case, first we need to find out this number. So, this is step number 1. Now, in step number 2, I am just looking at 69 raised to the power 2. Now, I told you whenever you have a square, you express this in terms of 50 plus minus something or 100 plus minus something. This as we all know is equal to 50 plus 19 raised to the power 2. So, the last two digits of this will be the same as last two digits of 19 square. 19 square is 361. See, you need to remember the squares of numbers up till preferably 25 but at least 20. Otherwise, you will take more time in the exam to find these questions. So, 19 square is 361. So, the last two digits of this is 61. So, I know that 69 raised to the power 2, the last digit, last two digits will be 61. So, I know that this is, this is a number of the kind x, y, z, let us say whatever, 61 raised to the power 32. This is what I know. Fine. So, this is good enough for me because whenever we have a number ending in 1 and we are trying to find out the last two digits, all we need to do is we need to take the tens digit multiplied by the unit digit of the power. 6 into 2 is 12. That is 2 and the unit digit will remain 1. So, the last two digits of this expression will be 21. That's how you do it. Now, let's take another example. This is more complicated. So, if you are able to follow this, this means you have understood whatever we have been talking about in the video till now. So, I have 87 raised to the power 474 and I am asked to find out the last two digits. Again, you need to remember that 7 raised to the power 4 ended in 1. So, this is all I know. So, now firstly, let me just divide the power by 4. To find out whether it is divisible, what is the what is the thing? So eight, this is thirty-two, so the remainder is two. So which means four seventy-four is simply hundred and eighteen multiplied by four plus two. So this is how exactly I'll write this exponent now. So this will be eighty-seven raised the power hundred and eighteen into four plus now, if I if I solve this, I will obviously get 87 raised to the power 4, the whole thing raised to the power 118 multiplied by 87 raised to the power 2. So, when I am trying to find the last two digits of this expression, it will be the last two digits of this thing multiplied by the last two digits of this thing. So, let us try to understand what we have here. We have 87 raised to the power 4 raised to the power 118 into 87 raised to the power 2. Now, as I told you, this number will be ending in 1. So, this number, just I am just trying to explain it to you first. 87 raised to the power 4 will be some x, y, z into some number here which we will find 1. Right? This whole number, this I am writing x, y, z because I don't care about these numbers. I care about this number. Something will come here, raised to the power 118. So, this expression 
I can find out the last two digits of this whole expression. This now I have multiplied by 87 raised by 2. I can find out the last two digits of this expression. So if I have last two digits of this and last two digits of this, I can find out the last two digits of this whole expression. So let us try to find exactly that. So first let me try to find out this x, y, z something into 1 and I need to find the something into 1. So let me try to find out the last two digits of 87 raised by 4. Now I told you that not okay this is 87 raised by 4 is 87 raised by 2 into 87 raised by 2. Now I told you that whenever you have squares the last two digits of 87 raised by 2 will be the same as if I can express this as 100 plus or minus something. Now 87 as you know is 100 minus 13. So the last two digits of 87 raised by 2 will be the same as the last two digits of 13 raised by 2 into this again is 13 raised by 2. This we know is 169 and this is 169. So again I just need to take the last two digits. Last two digits will be 69 into 69. Now this is what I have. So again I need to find out the last two digits of 69 square. But again I have the form of a square. This again I can write as in, in terms of 50 plus or minus something. 69 is equal to 50 plus 19. So last two digits of 69 square is the same as last two digits of 19 square. Now as I told you you have to remember the squares up till 20. 19 square is 361. So the last two digits of this are 61. So what I find out was that 87 raised to the power 4, 87 raised to the power 4 is something x, y, z into uh, and 61. This is how this number looks like. So we just found out this. So now this whole expression becomes x, y, z, 61 raised the power 118 into 87 raised the power 2. Now again I need to find out the last two digits of this and last two digits of this. Now last two digits of 87 square we already found out. 87 square will have the last two digits of 87 square will be the same as last two digits of 13 square which is the same as 69. So this I already know as 69. So last two digits of this is 69. What about this? Whenever you have an expression of Ending in 1, I take the tens digit of the this number and the unit digit of the power and multiply them. When I multiply them, I get 48. So this is 8, 48, I ignore the 4, put in 8 and because the unit digit of 1 raised by anything will always be 1. So this is the last two digits of this entire expression multiplied by 69. So you can solve this now easily. When you multiply this, you get 5, 5, 8, 9 which means the last two digits are 8 and 9. So for this entire expression that we saw, this thing, the last two digits are 8 and 9. So that's the answer. So if you followed all the steps of this question, please do, do this question again yourself or just re-watch the video to make sure that you've understood all the steps. If you have, it involves most of the basic concepts that I've covered in the videos.